Uh, hello everyone. Okay, I have a, for sale another set of two Pitman DC motors. Uh, they're exact the same size, but they have a differences. The first difference is in the encoder. One of them doesn't show pretty clear the old information, but I able to read that it's a 24 volts, 512 counts per revolution in the encoder. The other one is pretty clear the information which is a 30 volts DC volts and 256 counts per revolution. Um, both of them the the five the 256 count per revolutions motor encoder has a little mounting plate with the screws. The other one has a uh, mounting plate as well with the screws, but um, uh, could be it's a different to the other one. Okay. Um, let me the the way I test the RPM is I have to cover in black all the uh, rowdy rod or the end of the motor and then I put a reflecting tape in this one and the other one I put a tape around the pulley uh, and reflecting type as well this is the tachometer that I use to measure so I want to test both with 24 volts. You see, this one is the maximum allowed, 24 volts. So this one, the one is not having clearly the information is a 24 volt. I want to turn power on, and I want to measure the RPM. This gave me 6,300 um, uh, turns per revolution. 6,300 um, turns per revolution. You see right there. Of course, I can guarantee, but depending on different tachometers, mine is what is have the reading. However, what I said, I can guarantee that it's the exact um, RPM. Let me switch. To the other one and uh, and find out what is the RPM for the other one okay let's see the other the other end and let's power it on Let me read about how much is reading about five thousand. Okay, let me do it again. Five thousand five hundred steps. I mean, turns per revolution. But remember, this one. Is 30 volts and I just to apply 24 volts so might we have a more uh, I, I believe it's probably 8,000 but you know I just have a 24 volts DC so 5,500 and the second one the one to require 33 30.3 volts DC okay they work properly, they were very smooth and uh, this is the connector for your encoder it's just very straightforward, four wires 512 counts per revolution and the other one the same, four wires but this one is 256 counts per revolution one of them have a pulley timing pulley the other one doesn't but it's the same uh, no it's not the same unfortunately it's a different diameter of the um, 
of the end of the motor so anyway I included another pulley with uh, two head screws and a timing belt about four inches in length I mean if you straight it out it's about four inches so this could be great for uh, driving a spindle in a mini mill lathe or for many other applications so I will sell the whole thing the two motors Speedman motors with encoders one of them with pulley the other one doesn't have one an extra pulley about one quarter inch inside diameter and the timing belt for only $14.99 and $7 for shipping USPS the small flat gray box priority mail I will take some picture as well so please if you I hope you have the time to watch the movie the video not movie I'm sorry just the video to uh, for explain whatever I uh, the, the bit information that I have um, in one of them you will see some uh, transistors and capacity and uh, some transistors that are attached to it you're able to remove them I don't know they probably build them to reduce the speed or increase I'm not sure about it but uh, I just want to lift it as is the other one is a straight the wires coming out for the motor the encoders the motors and encoders are in a great conditions actually no noise at all about just not something damaged so what you see in the first picture is what you having is what is for sale two motors one extra pulley one timing bell one is one of the motors with a ex with a pulley the other one doesn't have pulley mounting plates with the screws and both pieces so yeah $14.99 seven dollar for shipping USPS uh, small flat rate box priority mail thank you for watching I will take some pictures with full for sale prison thank you